Okay, let's try this dubious looking question on Hess's law. Um, if we've got a table, then there'll be changes. It says use the data from the table. A scheme of reactions and Hess's law to calculate the value for delta H R. Ah. There's an R. There's that. Mm. Well, it looks like an R to me. Okay, so we're trying to find some value here. And unluckily for us, we don't have it here, which would be really nice. So let's look at the changes first. We've got hydrogen gas um, and chlorine gas. And look at that, hydrogen gas, chlorine gas, forming HCl. Ooh, so that one there, hydrogen gas and chlorine gas, form, it's, it's a minus 432 kilojoules. So let's go for, first of all, let's choose the right tool that we're writing with. So we know that going... In this direction here is minus 432 kilojoules. What else do we know? Well, this table we know there are HCl gas, and here we are HCl gas, going to the ions in solution, it's minus 75 kilojoules. What else do we know? We also know that hydrogen gas and chlorine gas going to the ions here plus 963 kilojoules so now we've got to go let's just find out what's happened from there to there all right and let's have a look well we're going to take a route and as Hess says doesn't matter which way around we go we're gonna go around this way so let's go around this way. Well, first of all, we're not going from the hydrogen gas and chlorine gas to, uh, to the ionic gases. We're actually going the opposite way. So it's going to be minus 963 kilojoules. Now, I'll just repeat that. We The plus 963 is from HG, CLG, hydrogen in the gaseous phase and chlorine in the gaseous phase, and the atomized going to the ions. But that's going this direction, up this way. But we're not going that way. We're going down this way because it's our route. Then we've got the atomized hydrogen chlorine to HCl gas, and that's minus 432. And then we need to go from HCl gas uh, to the aqueous ions, which is minus 75. And if I put all these into a calculator, I'm using a calculator on them um, on Windows, so it's not a scientific calculator, so. Well, all I'm going to do is combine these together. So I'm going to ignore the signs for a moment. So I've got 9, 6, 3, 4, 3, 2, and 75. And a combined total of 1470. It's minus 1470. So if I add all these together, I get minus 1470 kilojoules per mole. Believe it or not, that is that.